All right, moving on, uh, we need to take your queries now. Uh, our next call is Rajiv Pillai. Hi, Rajiv, what's your question? Hello, Vasudha. Thanks for taking my query. Uh, I want to purchase a 2 or a 2.5 BHK flat in Ulve area in Navi Mumbai and uh, my budget is uh, 40 to 45 lakhs. All right, uh, Rajiv wants to buy in Ulve, Navi Mumbai, 45 lakhs. Throughout the show, we've been uh, talking about Ulve as a micro market which has really not taken off. It is a little bit of a ghost town where all the apartments are in small sizes in terms of uh, one acre plots mm. with high rise buildings but nobody is really moved in because of the lack of social infrastructure. Mm. So the place also is not very well organized or very well developed. So we would definitely recommend given this price point to be more investor centric and look at Panvel because that's a more organized way of development with okay. bigger townships happening over mm -hmm. there, much better amenities. Uh, once the social infrastructure comes there properly, it will be far more superior. Okay. That's our view over there and uh, here the inventory overhang is all the 24 months. Mm -hmm. The weighted average price is for the mid to luxury segment 5400 rupees a square foot, which is also in line with uh, with Ulve, but far more superior destination is what Panvel is going to become over a period of time. 12% has been the analyzed appreciation. Proviso County by Proviso Group is the first recommendation available with the developer. This project is spread over six acres and construction has not started yet, will start soon in 2017. Balaji Splendor by MKN Group, this is 3800 rupees a square foot. This location is very good, it's just located just off the NH4 highway. Uh, project is a mix of one, two BHK apartments. And then we have Platinum Pride by Platinum Constructions. This is available with the developer, approved by HDFC and ICICI. Builder is reputed and has all com has completed many projects in Navi Mumbai. Construction is going on and reached the sixth lab and will be completed by 2015. Okay, so Rajiv, uh, we recommend that Panvel would be a better location to invest in compared to Ulve due to uncertainty over the Navasheva Trans Harbour Re Harbour Rail Link, which uh, was planned to connect Shivri to uh, JNPT Port. Uncertainty on this project has taken much of the appeal of Ulve and as Samir pointed out, social infrastructure in Ulve is uh, yet to come up and it almost looks like a ghost town. We recommend Palve, Panvel because it's on the NH4 highway and it connects Pune and Bangalore and the infrastructure is also established. Properties you can look at Proviso County by Proviso Group, Balaji Splendor by Space India and Platinum Pride by Platinum Constructions. Next is an email by Nishant Pawar. Uh, he writes, I'm living in Thane in my own small house, but now I'm looking to shift in Mumbai into a new builder construction apartment with modern amenities. Please suggest me a few ready to move in options in Western suburbs or South Mumbai. Looking at preferably 2BHK plus study and the budget is two and a half crores. My office is in BKC. Okay. So we've chosen two micro markets, hmm. Vadala and Andheri West. Uh, Vadala having limited projects, and Andheri West having a lot more projects to choose from. Mm. Inventory overhang is safe in both the micro markets, 18 and 22 months respectively. Uh, price points for the luxury segment are also, uh, Vadala is slightly more expensive at 19,900 and uh, Andheri West is at about 17,000. These are on super areas. Price appreciation has been not too good because of the last one odd year, 17% uh, and 22% respectively over two and a half years. The projects that you can consider are Ajmera in Vadala. This is 18 and a half thousand rupees a square foot. Available with the developer. It's a 49 storey building consisting of 234 BHK. Construction has reached the 29th slab already. And location of the project is excellent. Then you have Loda developers in Vadala. This is 16 and a half thousand rupees a square foot. Available on the resale market. Location is also very good. Uh, on the Suri Chembur Road, which is further connecting to the Eastern Expressway. Lastly, we have Gundecha by Andheri West. This is available in the resale market. This connectivity is also very good and it's only 3.5 kilometers from the Jogeshri Railway Station and 10 kilometers from the International Airport. Okay, Nishant, uh, two locations we've shortlisted for you, Andheri West and Vadala in South Mumbai, two prime locations. Projects uh, that we've shortlisted, Aeon by Ajmera, there's New Cuff Parade by Lodha Developers and Symphony by Gundecha. 
Okay, when it comes to investing, property is better than gold or so people think. But in Mumbai, at least, that philosophy is taking a hard knock. Property price appreciation here has come down drastically, especially when compared to the old days when prices grew by nearly 200%. This coupled with high prices is driving investors away from the real estate sector and into other asset classes. Nikhil Sivadas joins us with this report. Shyamlal Khetan is a shrewd investor. After decades spent running his own business, he knows how to spot a good bargain. That is why he has been investing in prime properties throughout Mumbai over the past decade. But today, he feels that Mumbai is not worth the effort. 2004-5 to 2008-9 were the times when prices used to appreciate 200%. When I looked at Oberoi, 2,800 rupees was the booking. Today, it is at 16,000 rupees. New projects cost 16,000 rupees. These will never fetch the return that came when prices were at 2,800 rupees. This is the problem facing most would-be investors in Mumbai. A bull run coupled with a growing economy saw realty prices in the city rise dramatically between 2003 and 2009. Areas like Lower Parel, for example, saw prices shoot up from 5 to 6,000 rupees per square feet in 2004 and 5 to reach 45 to 55,000 rupees today. But experts say that era of mammoth price appreciation is clearly over. The base has gone up, so the entry barrier is a lot more uh, stronger uh, today. Uh, so I think we should not really expect uh, that kind of return if we are uh, investing in mature cities like Mumbai. That that could be still possible for some of the smaller cities. But in case of Mumbai, I think we should expect just about 10% uh, uh, annual returns uh, going forward. The high ticket prices of most properties only adds to the problem. This combination of low returns coupled with high costs has resulted in a slowdown in investor interest in the city are very reluctant to go you know beyond the limits of the city so that's why there is a dampening of enthusiasm and uh, this kind of investors some of them of course are moving out of mumbai city like a lot of people from mumbai are now who are not able to afford in mumbai are moving to pune investors have also begun to actively look at other asset classes experts say that it's advisable to go in for instruments such as equities which give better returns in the long run if you see equities over long term, it would give about 15 to 17% returns. That has been the returns with the Sensex has given for a long time now. If you look at real estate, over a period of time, you will get about 14 to 17% returns. Secondly, you have to see what are the ticket size. If you're investing into real estate, as I mentioned, there will be large investments. Each, in, each in, 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 in individual uh, uh, installment will be large. Whereas if you're investing in equities, you can start with as little as 500 or 1000 rupees a month. The experts say that equities make for a better investment than Mumbai's real estate sector. While that may be arguable, one thing is clear. The realty sector complains of falling demand, but the truth is they have priced themselves out of reach of the average investor. From Mumbai, Nikhil Shivdas, NDTV. Time for a small break on the property show. Stay tuned. Uh, coming up on the other side, best luxury projects in Mohali in a budget of 1 crore. and smart investment options in Greater Noida's emerging areas. 